Hi, this is a submission to the 2020 ACAP conference possibilities unlocked. This research paper is a group Masters of Social Work placement project on domestic violence. When I'm not bruised and battered, exploring community understanding of domestic violence beyond visibility. Our project group came together as a result of significant interruptions to field education placements due to COVID-19. Given the lack of agency opportunities, ACAP partnered with the Workplace Learning Group and Nova Group Consulting to enable an experiential and research project placement opportunity. I was already very familiar with ACAP's field education program through previous involvement. Our agreed topic emerged through the shared devastation and impact felt by the group at the tragic and senseless murders of innocent partners, wives and mothers who had been controlled and terrorized and ultimately murdered by their supposed life partners. We were moved and motivated to transform our feelings of powerlessness and pain and replace them with resourceful capacities to become agents of change in domestic violence and gender inequality. In authentic and reflective dialogues, we identified and recognized the subtle and less visible misuses of power and representations of gender inequality within relationships in our own peer groups, communities and culture and acknowledge the implicit danger of these. Our own process of exploration and commitment to this led us to examine, explore and give voice to the many women living amongst us in our community who are enduring and surviving the invisible and hidden, the covert, un well, the concealed and undisclosed situations of domestic violence. As this project fell within a field education context, we did not have the luxury of time to submit an ethics proposal and conduct primary research. So we decided to do a secondary research project using published research sources and other secondary and grey materials such as media materials, websites and the exploring and mapping of Sydney services to develop a greater sense of grasp of the community understanding of domestic violence when it is not visible. Our research has also included an exploration and unpacking of relevant social work theories that speak to this issue. We have resonated and made sense of this theoretical work with a deeper understanding and we now have a clearer appreciation of how such theory practically applies to social issues, how we interpret and address them and even how we perceive or define our place in the world. Specifically and importantly, each of us um, uh, it was also insightfully considered and reflected upon the nature of power and inequality in our own relationships. This process has al allowed for the recognition of both reflexivity and subjectivity and has brought to the process our positionality as a tool in the research process. This not only has enhanced that ethical uh, integrity of our process, but has also enabled a richer, more meaningful analysis, attachment and interpretation of this content and issue. As a diverse group of women, we came together and connected in a meaningful way with a focus to make just one small ripple effect towards a greater awareness and consciousness around the prevalence, the danger and trauma of domestic violence when it is invisible. We have also, in true social work placement style, explored and developed our own personal and practice frameworks. Our capacity and need for current and ongoing reflection and importantly, our need for self-care as people first, but also as practitioners in the future. Um, as a group, we would love to thank you um, for giving us your time to listening to our lovely research and ideas that we have all become and made up together as a team throughout this whole process. Um, and yeah, that our passion really lies in the meaning and purpose of this whole project. So we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Thank you. Thank you.